Father, deliver us from evil. Oh, flame devour. What to do? What to do? And what of survivors? Eternal fire, guide me. I implore you. Sign. Uh, you wait! Step back! I'm no warrior. Help! Anyone help? Easy now. Not in the habit of murdering priests in need. No priest. I'm a deacon. Just two months out of seminary. On my first mission. It, it wouldn't be right to kill a deacon on his first mission. Oh my, your eyes. Yellow and those pupils. I have read about this. You're a witcher. Well, clearly no feral cat or grass snake, so... In point of fact, a grass snake's pupils are circular, not slitted. But never mind that. Please help me. If they breach the gate, a pestilence will be upon us. Met another of your fold recently. Tried to kill me, actually, near here. Didn't much like that I discovered he was trading in Fistag. So why would I trust you? Oh, it grieves me to hear this. I shall pray he repents. Alas, even the church's devoted err uh, occasionally. And some show a penchant for understatement. Desperate times call for a witcher, huh? Thought your church frowned upon our kind, mutants. A mistake common in our ranks, alas. I discussed it at length with my mentor. All are capable of doing good in this world, genetic aberrations or not. Hmm. You sure you're a priest of the Eternal Fire? All right. But got a question first, priest. How's a witcher fight a plague? I misspoke. Not the plague, its source. The Devil's Pit. This mine has long been used as a, well, a place to sequester the hopelessly sick. An isolated haven for the afflicted. A den to die in. Believe those are the words you're looking for. I'm not proud to admit it, but how else is the Scarlet Fog to be withstood? An incurable pestilence that spreads with the fury of wildfire? Callous as your method is, there's sense in it. Undeniably, unfortunately. Mm, what's done is done. Now where do I fit in? Deep within the mine lies a salt cavern haunted. Someone, that is some thing, lurks there, so ancient records show. A spirit that breeds pestilence and whispers in the dark. Alas. A band of deserters has seized the pit. They butchered the afflicted. I was sent to urge their departure. Should they force open the mine's gate, descend into its depths... We'll have more than just Catriona to stop. Let me guess. Your warning. Deserters didn't take it to heart? If only. They slew my retinue. I alone escaped. Please, you must help. I've coin to offer. They must be dealt with, the bandits, and this... this vile spirit. Could be this calls for a witcher, but I'll need more to go on. This spirit... been in the mine long? Anyone actually seen it? I've seen but some of the records. Above my station, you see. As I recall, it appeared long past after the first plague victims were brought here. The church attempted once to exorcise the ghost, but, well, I'd like to see for myself what came of it. Not exactly generous with details, were they? No. Our wards recently reported hearing whispers in the night. Pleas for mercy, but ghostly, strange. Altogether frightening. I'm afraid that's all I know. Stakes are high, can't deny it. 
hope we can agree on a fair reward. So long as you see what I have now as fair. Very well agreed. I'll need to take some from my own purse, but I believe you're worth it. So be it. I'll help. And you wait for me here, coin in hand. Of course. Under the circumstances, I can't imagine how it might be better spent. Ah, the key. It unlocks the gate to the mine. Eternal fire guide you, Witcher. Yeah, knock yourself out, Eternal Fire. Farewell. Priest's escort. Cuts and punctures. Swords at work. Deserters. No choice.
I'll rip off your melon and shit down your neck! Don't let up! Winds howling.
A note. Potion recipe. Brewed with celandine. Hmm. Should look for the places mentioned. Please, help me! Hmm. Sounds sincere enough. Can't be too sure, though. Could be a trap. Energy emanating from these bones. Spectre's doing.
Hmm, interesting. Witchers came here. School of the Wolf. Got a bad feeling about this. Who are you? <laughs>
Was Reynold a witcher?
Something's not right. Medallion seething. That stench. Damn it. What are you, Phil? Sick rebelled, then paid dearly for it.
Dwarven spirit, Celandine. Contents of chest. Must mean this chest. Got some Celandine on me. Good thing. Other ingredients seem in decent condition. Reynolds' own recipe looks like. Worth a try. All the signs scream Plague Maiden. But the symptoms. More likely a red miasmal. Yeah. Need to prepare. You're wasting time.
Might have missed something. Been here already. Not the way. Stalagmites! Destroy them! Free me! Finally! You're here! After all these years! The spirit! The miasma! It's still... here! Almost has control. Uh, hurry. Uh. Reynold? Yes, but my strength fading. The spirit taking control. 
I trapped us in here. The salt. Wondrous. Understand? It can't escape. Hmm. Led it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. Give me the potion. To expel it, at last. Been down here a while. Have any idea how long? Years. Decades. Time stands still here. Nothing ever changes, brother. Nothing. Longer than that, Reynold. Lots. Gotta understand, you should be dead by now, right? Only thing keeping your body alive is the miasmal? All the more reason to end this. You can do that! The potion! Please! Found your letters. To Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasmal would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool. But what's past is past. Lambert, the snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... what I started! I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. I'm about to let you be this mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. I'll kill you, then spread for your viscera. Invade your mind! What power? With your strength, I'll crush any who stand in my way!
Reynold died centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasmal. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. Can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasmal. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of, when exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. That was... 970... Or no, 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five, ten at most. Osman himself would have come. I'm sorry. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices? Torches? Wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How did it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasma? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though, they panicked. Sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist. Or... Or called for another witcher. Anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine. All forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm hmm. I saw. My Asmal tried to impersonate a Witcher earlier. You the real Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the School of the Wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. 
Osmond had ideas of his own for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were going to discuss them when we met at Kermoran. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. Why? Aim to have a theological debate? What'll a few words change? Let it go, Reynold. No. Aim to look him in the eyes. Ask him how his religion looks upon those who condemn a man to death and damnation. This kid? He's got no ties to the clerics who sealed you in here centuries ago. Can you offer me them in his stead? No. <laughs> Thought not. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... I, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay, didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasma itself? No, the very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his sole transgression. This kid, this priest, treats witchers like humans. A rare specimen. More. An endangered species. Well, in fact, the church holding mutants in low regard, it's an error, a misconception. Scripture states, um, respect and cherish every living creature. Hmm, respect for life is demonstrated here. As, as the prior says, he says, Oh, confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty. 
The church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak? Or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here. What'll you do with them? You're a hero. Prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! A hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church at your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye. True. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search. Now to find Osman's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kaer Morn.
Faster. 